Hi there and welcome. My name is Rob Power and I'm an assistant professor of education here at Cape Breton University. I'm excited to have been part of the team that's helped develop this Start Smart 2020 Preparing for Online Learning resource course here for you in Moodle and to welcome you to your studies as an online student here at Cape Breton University. What I want to do in this video is give you a brief overview of what you can expect in the Start Smart course site here in Moodle and how to proceed through some of the activities that you're going to encounter. Well, you've obviously found your way to the getting started area. Take a quick look at this area here and make yourself familiar with some of the resources that are available. In addition to this welcome video, this overview video, you're going to find some general information about the Start Smart course here as well as an announcements form. So if there are any important announcements that we need to send out to every student who's taking part in the Start Smart program, we can post them here. It's a good idea every time you log in to check that announcements block, just as, a, as it's a good idea to check the announcements uh, or news forum in any course that you're taking in Moodle in your studies here at CBU. You'll notice that there's a course schedule here, which uh, lists a date to be determined for a live extension meeting in Teams. Stay tuned for some information on that. It'll be a great opportunity to come together and meet uh, some of your colleagues who you'll be in class with as a student, as well as to meet myself and some of my colleagues who are faculty and staff here from CBU. There are also some uh, bits of information here on where to find support services at Cape Breton University, including how to contact the IT help desk or how to get a hold of the Jennifer Keeping Center if you need to. You can navigate around to the different modules in this course quite easily. You'll notice that the, at the bottom of the st getting started area, there is a uh, link to topic one digital know how. There's also a jump to menu box here, so you can pick any module and go to that. If we take a look at topic one, scroll on down, you'll find yet another course intro or a module overview video. It will give you a brief overview of what to expect in this module. You'll find some resources on using Moodle, Teams, and other digital tools that you'll be using as a student here at Cape Breton University. You'll also find a couple of challenge activities in here. We have a number of challenge activities at uh, the end of each of the topics. And by doing those, you'll get to earn a number of digital badges, including your Moodle Navigator badge, your Teams Navigator badge, your Set for Success badge, your Academic Essentials badge, and your Knowing Your University badge. Complete them all and you'll get a Master badge for having completed all of the Start Smart activities. You'll notice on our Start Smart 2020 Preparing for Online Learning Moodle site that in addition to the Getting Started area and the digital know-how topic that I just referred to, there are a total of four main topic areas. There's also topic two, Getting Organized. In that, we're going to talk about some of the tips and strategies and resources to help you thrive as a student here at Cape Breton University and to feel like you're staying on top of things and rising to the challenge. You will have a module called Topic 3, Academic Essentials. In this area, we are going to take a look at everything from the concept of academic integrity to how to use the library and the supports that are available there, how to access supports from the University Writing Center, some tips and strategies for reading and writing, and even some strategies for helping you to communicate and to collaborate more effectively as part of a collaborative team of students here at Cape Breton University. The final module that you'll find in this course, Topic 4, Knowing Your University, covers all of the non-academic supports that are available to you as part of the CBU University community. So we have a look in getting to know the supports at CBU, at uh, what the schools are and how they can support you, uh, what supports are available to you outside of your classes, Udamaki College and the supports that are available there for our Indigenous students, and how an academic year unfolds. We're also going to take a look in this module at some of the supports and resources that are available to help you take care of yourself. And there's also a listing of some of the virtual resources that are available to you at Cape Breton University. Again, there's uh, resources in here that will help you find technical support whenever you need it. 